it's time for you and me to have us a little pool talk. Keith McCready and Ralph Greenleaf played their whole lives with the sidearm stroke. They both won mountains of money. Boost of money queues up low on the cue ball on every single shot no matter where he's hitting the cue ball. Boost of money has a very long stroke. And he also flaps his shoulder around like he's trying to fly away. Alex Pagulain has a very long bridge. Alex has a very short bar table stroke. I don't think Corey Dool has ever made a closed bridge in his life. Tommy Kennedy jumps up on every single pull shot. In 92, Tommy went on to annihilate Johnny Archer in the finals of the U.S. Open. Buddy Hall has a very short bridge. Shane Van Boning cues up on the cue ball while his shoulder is misaligned. And then I'll take his warm-up strokes and during that final backswing, he'll align his elbow and do a double pump stroke and shoot the cue ball. You gonna argue with Shane's success? Some players have the taken a dump stance. Other players have the I'm about to run 100 miles an hour stand. Some guys stretch their legs out as far as they can go and both of their legs are straight. Some players have a snooker stance. In all the players I just mentioned, I would not recommend copying any of them note for note. And that includes the equipment they use their political association, their, you know, you're you, okay? And what you need to do at this point in your career, if you're not a top level pro, is to find out what works for you. So go find out what they're doing, look what they're doing, and see if it might work for you. Except for Tommy Kennedy, do not copy Tommy Kennedy. You, you don't want to be jumping up on every shot, and you don't, you, you don't want to play like him. Don't do that. Tommy wins in spite of himself. I have covered some of the basics and I don't like to do it. And there's always some smart ass coming by with a statement disguised as a question and it goes something like this. Hey, how many US Opens have you won? Hmm. Hey, you know what? I never lost a single match in a US Open. If I do a video on the basics of pool, it's not, it's not a mandate, you know, you're not going to get arrested if you don't take my advice. It's more of a suggestion. It's more something to try and see if it works for you. But you should also give it a fair chance to work. It's the fact that different things work for different players because we all have different bone structures. We all have different muscle mass. And, and we all have quirks and, and unique things to deal with our body and and this is why we're not all robots copying each other i think it would be incredibly boring if we all did everything the same way the agenda with my videos is to help pool players so if i suggest something and it doesn't help you then maybe i'll suggest something else that might help you and there's players, I mean, it's obvious, there's player after player who have gone on with terrible basics and just started beating the world. The, the best champions in, in all everything have done things their way because their way works for them. If standing on their head playing pool worked for them, that's exactly what they would do because the agenda is to win. The reason it's good to have good basics is because it's really hard to be consistently great with bad basics. But that doesn't mean some guys can do it and some guys have done But these guys are very, very rare. And then if you look at the fact that champions themselves are very, very rare, it all starts making sense.